Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe. on my experience with working um, for Arise. If you don't know what Arise is, it is a work from home opportunity that allows you to go through the training for whatever client you choose and if you pass the training, um, you can work for them. I posted a video um, about my experience with them last year, but obviously things have changed, a lot has changed. So I wanted to do an updated video because that video is one of my most popular videos and I get a lot of questions to this day in the comments of that video. So I wanted to try to answer as much as I can, like the most common questions and share with you my current experience. So I wanna say around May, no, maybe later, maybe June, my um, SAO, which is Statement of Work, expired with the client. The client is in the cruising industry, so as you can imagine, during this pandemic, cruises have not sailed since March. Obviously, when it was time to renew my statement of work, I did not get it renewed for obvious reasons. I wasn't the top, 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 top performer, so they cut me. <laughs> but when they cut me, they did give me an opportunity to work with another client that is on their platform at no cost, and I got to choose a new training time and start the training for free basically so i was excited about that because i was really getting drained by the cruising industry just and how it relates to covid because i mean obviously cruising is the least important thing right now i understand people want to go on vacation trust me i'm a vacation goer an avid vacation promoter but I was getting really draining how people were really just... Anyways, I was excited to start the new opportunity. And so I chose a new, um, a new training date. And I would be training for the whole month of August. And then after that, I would start with the new client. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, I'm not working for Arise no longer. And my experience with the new client was not a good one. It wasn't the client's fault, I guess. The new client required you to use the Arise Secure Desktop. Arise Secure Desktop is something you create with a flash drive that basically just creates a different part of your computer. I don't know, I'm not a tech person. And it's just a more private network, basically. Um, a private computer where you do the client's work. And so, that was not an expectation for the last client, so it was a new experience for me. It was a learning curve, but with a few YouTube videos and the emails that they sent out to me, I was able to create the Arise Secure Desktop, how it was supposed to, and have it ready for training. Well, every day when we logged in for training, we had to log in behind the Arise Secure Desktop, and I really, it was just, it was just bad. It was, it was not good. <laughs> and when I say it's not good, it was just not what was it? it it was inconsistent it was not working every day has a login behind the desktop which um, requires you to actually manipulate your own desktop to create the des their desktop and then every day you would have to log in it takes about three to five minutes so you have to account for that every day before your training and then once you're behind the right secure desktop it's very unique looking but it basically once you pull up the systems on the right secure desktop it was just a mess. Like every day you would have to type in the full links of whatever platform you're gonna be using to work. So like you have to type in HTTPS docs on my colon slash backslash da, 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 every single day to pull up the correct systems. You had to do that every single day. They did not bookmark the systems that were required for you to use daily for your job. You have to create a cheat code. That's what the trainer for me called it basically where you create a piece of paper where you wrote down the entire link and you would have to type in the entire link every single day and so obviously you can get used to that but it's very very annoying and it, it just causes it causes you to have to log in way earlier than you need to because you know you have so much to pull up and I mean so much like at least six to seven systems um different passwords and logins for everything 
so I was able to look past that but the actual training itself was torture for me and like in, in the fact that it was very slow paced I mean we were sitting there reading articles to each other like we were back in middle school I was reading out loud to the class five pages of training and um, every single day the teacher had to or trainer had to help someone log into the same system that we logged in for the past seven days and it was just a mess it was a mess every day I felt anger when I had to clock in and it, it was it was really messing with my mood because not only am I trying to work from home my kids are still here school is about to start and it was just draining it was inconsistent and it wasn't worth for me the headache every day um, to make a few dollars so I spoke with Anthony and I was like hey like this is not gonna work for me I'm very unhappy doing this and I'd rather just find another job or find another work from home job something else because this is draining me so obviously he was he was down he was like okay I agree go ahead and quit so I basically discontinued my statement of work with that new client because the Arise Secure desktop was frustrating and I mean frustrating so I say that all to say I would recommend you work with the rise but I would re recommend selecting a client that does not use the arise secure desktop not all of them do a lot of them do but not all of them do you need to look into the details of each client you know where it says how much you're getting paid and this and that and when it looks under system requirements if you see it says a, a rise secure desktop or you need a flash drive run 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 the opposite direction unless you are a tech person and you love every day to type in the HTTPS of all seven platforms that you need to bring up and you like clocking in 30 minutes before your shift um then go ahead for all like do it but I did not make it through training because the Horizon Secure Desktop was shit and that's just me being completely honest my experience with Arise before switching clients was good I mean obviously no one could have predicted for a pandemic and that our hours would be cut and that we would not be cruising but overall besides people being nasty over the phone you know how people are brave over the phone I had no issues I got paid when I was supposed to um, I picked up the hours that I had I could make my own schedule um, it really did work for me but with everything that went on with the pandemic it um it just it ended up not working definitely if like i said you have the patience please pick up an a, a, a client that has the asd but if you can find one that does not use the asd i would highly recommend it because i just think that they haven't really thought things through and they really haven't made it as efficient as they can so that their employees or their clients or their contractors can really have a good experience with the system and have a good experience working for it the client as far as uh, a lot of people ask me if I was if I did the sole proprietor route and yes I did meaning you, you you're basically you work for yourself so yes there's tax things that go with that but I mean if you're going to a tax professional it shouldn't be issued keep receipts of everything you purchase for your job and just do you make sure you're turning in all your paperwork make sure you're checking your emails consistently they're very good at at sending their emails and communicating with you what they need from you so I don't like it's not rocket science in that aspect I think that you can definitely sign up as a sole proprietor and not have the connections of another person running your paperwork and your money besides that it is a legit job it did it did give me some part-time money for almost a whole year and it wasn't a completely terrible experience like i said i just did not appreciate the rise secure desktop it did not allow me to be successful and it did not make me happy and i actually dreaded every morning that i had to go to training so my advice to them if they're watching this is make it more user friendly and make it more enjoyable because if you don't enjoy what you're doing and if you dread it every single day you're not gonna have a happy experience you're gonna have a high turnover rate so ever since that um, I haven't been working it's been about well two months now I haven't been working for them and I in the future when the pandemic is over I will definitely apply for a new client if I'm still at home 
but I plan to eventually like go out into the world. I'm gonna look at the comments real quick to see if there's anything else. My video is nine months old now. Oh, the $20 fee is per check, so it's a platform fee, and it's basically obviously they they're gonna find ways to make additional money, but basically it's for gaining access to their platform month by month and it's a $40 fee each month and just take it directly from your check so you just look at your check whatever your check is going to be and minus $20 from it and that's not going to stop so there's no way to debate that someone said that they haven't gotten paid you have to keep in mind your training is not paid but once you graduate training you're actually get, getting paid but they still need to do those first you know two weeks because it's bi-weekly so it takes time for you to get your first check paycheck if you want to know how to find the revenue calendar go to the little bottom of chat where you can type in um like different things that you're looking for and just type in revenue calendar 2020 and you can see what days you should expect to check when it drops for them and when it should drop for you another popular question is do you need to have a phone line from my experience you have to have a phone line like you have to be paying for a phone line with your service so you need to have internet and a phone line they don't do virtual I think it's virtual over IP VOIP something like that voice over internet there you go my last trainer told me that they were trying to bring the voice over internet protocol but from my understanding they still don't have it so you do have to have a phone line and an internet line to do the service and then you need to buy a separate phone like let me show you this is my phone obviously it does not have to be pink and white I'm just very extra but it just comes with a headset and it has phone numbers I got this from Amazon I think it was like $20 very inexpensive but you do need to have a physical phone to do the uh, job i will link as many things as be below that i can for you so does the phone cord have to be plugged into the wall yes it has to like be coming f like an actual phone line like i said because it can't be virtual again independent contractors so the sole proprietor is when you're you're basically your own contractor if you go through an ibo that's someone being a contractor and you're underneath them what well, internet service that I used before I was using Spectrum and then at the last portion before I quit I was using Comcast. Choose the company you work for. You can choose any company you work for as long as you're okay with the cost of the actual course and the length of the course and the hours of the business. I mean you really have to look at the details of each contractor and see what's going to work best for you but you can choose anyone and as long as you pass you can work for them. Someone asked, can you do multiple clients at once? I don't know if you can do multiple clients at once. From my experience, I've never done that. So, I'm sorry. Look into the, if you have a laptop, look, if you only have a laptop and you don't, and you can't get your hands on a desktop anytime soon, look under the system requirements of each client because I think there is a couple clients that allow you to, to use a laptop. But it has to meet the requirements. So, definitely look at the info details of each client. I mean, it is all laid out from the, the pay that they do, the hours that they expect you to do your training, the business hours once you graduate, the type of calls you'll be taking, all of that is listed under the info details. It's a little green bar or it's orange right next to the client name once you log into Arise. Do you need a dial pad? Yes, you do. That's this. This is a dial pad. Do they take out taxes? They don't take out taxes um, from, your, from your check, so you got to keep that in mind. Keep a record of everything because when it's tax time, you need to account for all of those things. Again, I'm not going to specify the two exact client names that I work for because you don't actually work for those clients. You are contracted from, you are contracted through a rise to give a service to them. So you don't technically work for them. I would not say the actual names of each of these clients because I don't want any ickiness or stickiness. But I think I answered as many questions as I could. Like I said, if you can avoid the Arise Secure Desktop with any of these clients because you're not that savvy or you know that it will frustrate you, do that. It's my biggest recommendation. Um, if I didn't have to do that, I, I most likely would still be working with them right now. 
all right guys that is it for today's video i hope it was helpful and i hope it gives you an idea about what you're gonna do moving forward if you're gonna move forward with a rise or not or if you are gonna move forward what route you go in picking your client that was the goal of this video if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up Comment down below any additional questions that I maybe did not get to answer and I'm pretty good at responding to them. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!